Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at Kubernetes. This is the reason why we're here for this technology. So it is an open source container orchestration system for automating deployment, scaling, and management of containers. Originally developed by Google and now maintained by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, the CNCF, as a CNCF project. And we are going to touch on Google Cloud. I'm gonna show you how to deploy uh, your cluster there. And you're gonna find that Google Cloud is actually the easiest of, out, out of all the managed providers because I use them all in this course. Uh, Kubernetes is commonly called K8S or K8s. And the eight represents the uh, letters between the K and the S. Uh, generally, if you see K8S, you can say K8s or Kubernetes. And the advantage of Kubernetes over Docker, because Docker is what people always think when they think of containers, is the ability to run container apps uh, distributed across multiple virtual machines, or as we'll call them in the course, nodes. Now, uh, I have a double asterisk there, and that's just to remind me to tell you that uh, this is a gross, 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 gross simplification. Docker is not as simple as uh, like an apples to, or it's like an apples to oranges comparison. Docker is a suite of things. It's a runtime. It can have Docker Swarm, which is an orchestration tool. So technically a better comparison would be between Kubernetes and Docker Swarm, but I'm just trying to keep it simple here for you. All right. Um, a unique component of Kubernetes are pods. And a pod is a group of one or more containers where shared storage network resources and other shared settings. So the idea here, I'm just getting my pen out here, is we have a node, which is a virtual machine, and another one here, and you got pods running across them. Now, and pods contain containers in them. That's where the containers are. Now, uh, as we look at uh, pods throughout this course, you're gonna find out that basically most components that we run in Kubernetes are pods. So that's why pods are so uh, uh, front and center because basically everything is a pod. Kubernetes is ideal for microservice architecture where a company has tens to hundreds of services they need to manage. And so a service um, would be something like a, a containerized application. And the thing is, is that when you have a containerized application, you're very likely gonna be running more than one of them. All right, even like redundant ones. So here we have pods and a pod would run a specific application. So let's say it's a Ruby on Rails application. Um, and I mean, you could count this all as one service or you could count each of these as redundant services. And so it's very quick uh, or easy to get into the tens. So Kubernetes can be used uh, quite early on, but it's gonna be really dependent on your use case.